Welcome to my first ever YouTube video. It's here, you've made it to my channel, welcome. Um, this is my first ever YouTube video, not that I've been in, you, if you're here, you've probably seen me actually in a lot of other YouTube videos. Um, but this is the first one that I'm making on my own, in my home. And my future self, if you're currently watching this, maybe making a video, reacting to your first ever video, go easy on yourself. Uh, and today, I'm gonna be reading mean comments. I've read a lot of mean comments. I used to read a lot of the comments. I have stopped doing that since then. I don't really care too much, but some of the mean comments are really funny. Now, I didn't use any comments that were generic or lame, so if you hate watching this and you're sad that your mean comment didn't get featured, then maybe head down to the comments of this video and uh, try and be more funny and creative. Let's get into it. Now, this first one's funny. It says, yay past foods, ew, Trevor. Um, this is funny because Past Foods is like Josh and I series. I'm in every single Past Foods video. Like, do they go into every Past Foods video being like, yes, Past Foods time. Ugh, Trevor's in it. Cause I'm in all of them. I believe this comment is also in a Past Food video. A lot of these are because I find that that's where people have been most hateful. Um, you two need to be professional. This is not okay. I mean, I get it. You know, one of the things that Mythical Kitchen really prides itself on is its professionalism. Um, and, and we take that very seriously. So note taken, I'll relay this to Josh and we will be more professional. This next one's awesome. This made me laugh a lot. At 2338, Trevor's face looks just like Frank when he gets mangled by Vecna. I think they've kind of got a point. I love that that's where this person's brain went when they saw me burping like that. They thought, wow, that looks just like that scene in Stranger Things. Um, Vecna is the villain in Stranger Things, if you didn't know and he sort of mangles people. It's a good word for it. Long one here. I hate to say this, but it's gotten to the point where I can't watch videos with Trevor in them anymore. He used to be my favorite and was relatable and funny. Now his ego is too big and the relatable humor I used to love has been replaced by seeing how loud and annoying he can be instead of putting effort into being funny. It's what I'd expect to see in a channel directed at nine to 10 year olds but I'm not sure that's the best demographic to target for a cooking show. Hmm. You know, it's hard to lose a fan. I'm sorry that my ego got bigger. It has. It gets bigger every day. I'm sorry that Hollywood changed me. I'm sorry I'm no longer relatable. I'm not an average Joe anymore. You know, I'm a celebrity. For those of you out there that, that miss me before I became a real D-bag, um, a real piece of crap, egotistical celebrity. I'm sorry, this is just who I am now. And please don't ask for photos and videos. If you see me out in public, I will say no and I will yell at you. I won't even look at you. Uh, no, this is crazy. I mean, you probably hit it on the head that I've gotten more childish. I think that, yeah, nine to 10 year olds probably do find a lot of my jokes funny, but I think older people do too. And the demographic that I'm targeting really is people, uh, any, any people. But yeah, you got a point about the ego. Uh, I'm working on it. Okay, this next comment is pretty insane. Um, good to see a classic Josh and Trevor episode. No wokeness or diversity hires. So you're just a racist or sexist. Probably both if I'm really thinking about it. Lily V and Nicole Rock, uh, they're the best and they're amazing what they do and they're absolute pleasures to be around and all very talented. Uh, so yeah, be better, I guess. Maybe try your hardest not to be racist and sexist. Th these comments I think might've been from a different video, but insane in the same line of like, what are you talking about? Can you refrain from injecting politics into these videos? Thanks. Was better when it wasn't woke. The woke jokes and references ruined this otherwise great episode. I should really go watch the video that these are on because I'm sure that the comments would be even funnier with context. The, 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 the woke left really ruined Mythical Kitchen, honestly. You're an insane person. You're insane people. I, I don't know what to tell you. Here we go. Who the hell is Trevor? Uh, it's a question I ask myself often. I'm still trying to figure that out. Who the hell is Trevor? Who, who the hell do I wanna be? Who the hell am I gonna be? I think that it's something that I'll constantly be discovering. But I hope that every day I, I come closer to, you know, accepting and finding out who, who I truly am. When I find out, I'll let you know. This is a good one. Some people hate Trevor though. So the context of this is that someone commented that they love me and then someone replied to them 
and said, everyone loves the second guy. I guess in reference to Josh joining Rhett and Link, people loving Josh, and then me being the second guy to Josh now. I don't know what the line of reasoning is there. I don't know why people love the second guy. This is the reply. Some people hate Trevor though. Uh, some people hate Trevor though. Hey, that, not everyone loves the second guy. Some people hate Trevor. Thank you for the qualifying statement. Thank you for keeping me humble. Cause you're right. This next comment's tough. Trevor, Josh, you made my Nona cry. Um, I'm sorry. On behalf of both Josh and myself, we love Nonas. We love all Nonas everywhere. And we would never want to make a Nona, your Nona cry. If you have a Nona out there that has been hurt by Josh or myself, there's a number you can call. Uh, just know that Josh and I every day, we're, we're trying to be better um, for all of the Nonas out there. Next comment. This is somewhat devolved to rambling nonsense. It's actually kind of annoying now. I don't know when this channel wasn't rambling nonsense. I, I feel like we've we've been rambling nonsensically for a while now, from the start. Um, but to each their own, I'm sorry that you feel that way. I'm sorry that it's annoying. Next comment. Trevor is the exact kind of weird ass boy I always have a crush on. Uh, this, is, this is less of a mean comment, more of a, of a backhanded compliment. Thank you. Uh, I think that um, my silliness is one of my better qualities. Um, I think that, you know, it, it makes me... <clears throat> Thank you, I guess. Um, I, I appreciate it. <sighs> Next comment. This one's a doozy. <clears throat> Can the young man just not make his head look like that? It's so distracting, lol. Just be a normal person. Your personality will show more. And here comes the hate. <laughs> I don't even know where to start with this one. I don't know what he means by that. Is it the shape of my head? Is it my face? Is it my hair? Is it just, is it everything? Change the way your head looks and be a normal person and your personality will show more. Hey, you've got a great personality. Just change the way your head looks. I do like that he, he, he prepared himself though. Hey, I just said he needed to change the way his head looks. Here comes the hate. I'll work on it. Bargain bin PewDiePie. <laughs> There's a lot of dots. Yeah, I don't have much to say about this one. Um, this next one's awesome. What the hell is dangling from Trevor's ear? I get that some of these LA kids like to look all hipstery, but this kid looks foolish AF with his bandana and Charlie Brown sweater when it's 90 degrees out there. Um, yeah, I, I'm wearing one right now. I just love, I love wearing a dangly cross earring. I love George Michael. Uh, ever since I saw, you know, the Faith album cover. It's just a, it's an awesome look. People really seem to hate it. Uh, probably the same people that are getting mad at us for our woke jokes. They're, they're, to be fair, there are a lot of nice ones. A lot of people say that they like the dangly cross, which I appreciate. A lot of people gas it up. All of the ones that are mean are very like borderline, if not just flat out homophobic. I will stand for none of that. We love and respect my King George Michael in this house. And another funny one in the same vein, you'll get a lot of likes off this video just because that dude's wearing an upside down cross. People's choices make me question humanity altogether. I hope if a strong future while others try to rip it apart. Well, thankfully we'll get a lot of likes. The cross isn't upside down, so I don't know if that changes how this person feels about it. My choice to wear a dangly cross earring has this man questioning all humanity. He said, you know what? What are we doing as a society? Yes, sir. I'm ripping apart your future by wearing this earring and I don't care. And I'm gonna keep ripping it apart. Next comment. Trevor looks like he's out on probation and needs the nearest methadone clinic. Lol, I love the look for this channel. So I had to look up what a methadone clinic was. I, I had an idea. So it's a, a place where people go to get help for specifically for opioid addictions. <laughs> <clears throat> but he loves it. Whatever look I have going on that makes me look like an opioid addict, he's a big fan. Uh, we'll call it a very backhanded compliment, I guess. Next comment. Trevor looks like an intern. Uh, there was a joke when I first started working, a lot of jokes about me being an intern, and I think a lot of people believed it, which I get. I, I did look like an intern. And I feel like I also kind of acted like an intern, but I feel like I've become more, more of a seasoned veteran. This one probably is mean, but I'm gonna choose to take it uh, as meaning that I look like I'm young and full of hope and life and joy. <clears throat> this one I think is also a nice comment. 
Trevor is slowly but surely getting less annoying and horrible. In another year or so, he'll be a palatable personality. I don't know what made me horrible. <laughs> Um, but I appreciate that, that, that you're uh, encouraging me to continue to get better. The video that this is on was one year ago, so I think I'm a palatable personality. Leave a comment below if you think my personality is palatable. Um, and yeah, I hope this person, I hope this person's, you know, happy um, and, and has continued to see the growth. I think that this one might be my favorite comment of, of every single one that I read. So strap in, this is insane. The video starts at three minutes. Sadly, the cringe starts at zero. Edit. Sadly, I could not make it past six minutes. Why are gringos like this? Haha, ha, we're so quirky. Just make the damn food, my God. Like, I know I shouldn't expect much as a Latino, but my God. <laughs> Oh God, <laughs> I know I shouldn't expect much as a Latino, but my God, <laughs> we're making a discontinued Taco Bell menu item. This is awesome. Why are gringos like this? That's a great question. Like, I feel like this isn't a person that watches our videos. This has gotta be a person that's like looking up Taco Bell things. And then they're like, oh, this looks nice. You know, a discontinued Taco Bell menu item. And they're like going in and they're like, come on. Why are gringos like this? We're so quirky. Like, come on, just make the damn food. Make the damn Taco Bell. Uh, he might've been onto something. I read this comment to Raven, my Latina girlfriend, and she said, that's so mean. <laughs> so she feels the same way, I guess. I don't know, maybe dude has a point. That's probably the funniest comment ever though. This one is another looks comparison. Uh, Trevor is a Emma Watson lookalike. Tell me I'm wrong. I think I get what you're saying. I think I get what you're saying. Like kind of the strawberry blondish brown hair. You, you might be onto something. It's definitely not an insult. I think that that means that you're telling me that I'm a beautiful man. So I appreciate that. Thank you. I'm not gonna tell you you're wrong. This one I really don't get. This is probably the one that perplexed me the most. Can we please replace Trevor? He just sits there and laughs like Patrick from SpongeBob. He contributes nothing. This is insane. How many people in the world would tell you that Patrick is the funniest part of SpongeBob? Like this is a compliment to me. But the fact that you believe that Patrick contributes nothing to SpongeBob SquarePants, uh, that concerns me. Honestly, you're probably a Squidward head. You're probably Squidward maxing, which is insane. Patrick heads out there. Patrick heads out there. Uh, leave a comment below uh, as a real Patrick head would Squidward cells. Um, I don't care about your opinion. This one's pretty good. Someone said, I stopped watching Smosh when Anthony left, lol. This is on a video of Josh and I making a Taco Bell cheesy core burrito. Where's Anthony? Why hasn't Anthony come back yet? Why doesn't Anthony come back, Lamau? I have great news, he's back. Um, commenters of the Taco Bell cheesy core burrito pass food video, uh, we found him. He's returned, he's a lovely guy. It's pretty big, it's pretty awesome. I'm gonna end it on this one because it's probably the most insane comment that I found. And it's not a mean comment. I think it's a compliment, but I just read it and I, I genuinely, my jaw dropped. It's weird that Good Mythical Kitchen is both enjoyable and gets my wife in the mood. Food does weird things, man. Uh, I, I don't know. You're, you're welcome, I guess. This just kind of fascinates me. I, I can't bring myself to believe or understand why a mythical kitchen video would turn someone on. I don't know. I just feel like the content that we make isn't, I mean, we make a lot of, I'm glad that your wife has found, you know, um, a, I don't really know how to respond to this one. Uh, I'm, I'm glad, I, I, I'm not glad. Thank you. I really, I really don't know what to say. Everyone, that was me reading mean comments. Thank you for watching YouTube outro. Did it. See ya.